state of Ulama, Wara State Council of Ulama Islamic Clerics has told traditional worshippers in the state not to hold their plan ICC festival in Ilorin, the state capital. The executive secretary of the council, Justice Saliu Mohammed, who is a retired grand caddy of the state, said this on Tuesday while addressing journalists. Mohammed said the proposed Ifa festival proposed post a security threat to the state. Hence, the ulama insisted that the Ifa festival under any guise would not be allowed in any part of the Ilorin Emirates, comprising Asha, Moro, Ilorin East, Ilorin West, and Ilorin South local government areas. Those in attendance at the meeting are Imam Gambari, Ajana Sa Agba, Sheikh Yusuf Bakata. Professor Badmas Yusuf, two former Grand Cadiz Justices Idris Harun and Ola Abdul Kadar, Mohammed, uh, former President of the Lori Emirates Descendants Progressive Union, Alaji Abdul Hamid Adi, and representatives of Imams and Afas from all the distinct local government areas of the state. Justice Mohammed was quoted by Tribune as saying, It is in light of this. That we have found it extremely necessary to plead with the Kwara state government and all stakeholders to appeal to the ICRI and similar interest groups to stay away from Ilorin. As available evidence convinced us that the staging of the events in Ilorin would have a serious negative consequence on the peace of Kwara state, we are not unmindful of the pillage of aspersions and insults mounted on our father, the Emir of Ilori and Chairman, Council of Emirs and Chiefs in Kwara State, Alaji Ibrahim Sulu Gambari, by individuals that are expected to know better, which are unfortunate, condemnable, and inexhaustible. We don't think any individual or group has anything to gain from the destruction of harmonious coexistence. The people of Ilori Emirates, particularly the Kwara State, Council of Ulama cannot be coerced by any person or group of persons claiming to be representing intellectualism or atheistic practices to destroy what our forefathers have fought for. As community and opinion leaders in our various places of abode, we are not unaware of the readiness of various youth groups never to allow the staging of the so called Isheshe festival anywhere in Ilorin. To them, such activities would pollute the peace and tranquility of the community as they are also seen as an invasion and an act of cultural imperialism. We, as leaders, see merits in the position of the Muslim youth. We sincerely believe that it is unwise and wrong for non-residents of a community to forcefully impose imported thoughts or practices on their hosts. This is repugnance to natural justice and it will certainly lead to the breakdown of law and order. The executive secretary of the Council of Ulama also said it should be made abundantly clear that we are not against the celebration of the Isese festival. What is important to let the whole world know is that we, the people of Ilorin, have absolutely nothing to do with it, he added. He continued, we understand the motive behind their sinister and abominable move but one that Ilorin has moved on the emirates might be a yoruba speaking city but it must be realized that its present culture is no longer that of yoruba Aousa, Fulani, Nupe, or any other but purely islamic hey, hey. we therefore advise that they allow peace to reign across nigeria all we are saying is that it should not be held where the celebrators and celebration would not be welcomed. Ilori is certainly not among the places that should be considered for such a festival if the organizers are patriotic and well-meaning. Why appealing to Muslim youth and other stakeholders to exercise patience, Mohammed appealed to Governor Abdurrahman Abdurrazak to direct all the security agencies in the state to take note of this threat to the peace and security of the state. He teach in time saves nine. <laughs> Despite the fact that it's a Yoruba speaking place, thank God they know. So, the Yoruba speaking, uh, whatever, if that is what they 
that's what they are known for, what they have been doing. And you say Islamic or Christianity, practice everybody, practice what you want. So those people now, they should leave the people who are practicing, who are Yorubas, they should leave the Ilori and go to other places to go and practice their own um, own religion. This one, it, it gets as a bill. I don't understand this kind of a thing, no? honestly speaking. The Sheshe people should go there with full force. Stay in your privacy and do your festival. Avoid confrontation. Majority of Ilorin are far practice Islam in the morning and in Sheshe at night. <laughs> Husband and wife issue. I beg, make una no pull mark there. Let them settle their differences. This is intolerance for others. Now, family fights. Nam they cannot tell them. I be in no tell them. Okay, right on. Misplacement of priority. This is how people become miserable by senseless pursuits. So all those leku leisure shops in Ilorin, would they patronize them? Back in my school days, now so one of them said a Christian can never become governor in Kwara State because the state is for Muslims. Upon all we are facing in this country now, so they fight on top religion, build a priority. Where have we gone wrong? Why are some particular sets controlling how people must live in their land? Igbos never mind. God will always fight for you. Okay? Tell that to the constitution. Let the fight begin. They need brain examination. Yes, Ilori is an emirate on the northern part of Nigeria, despite a Yoruba speaking state. Any tea traditional in the name of pleasing the gods can't be tolerated in an Islamic state. Thanks to Usman Danfudu's jihad for captured that captured in order to be an emirate under Sokoto caliphate can you imagine well islamic culture in nigeria wala deal now wow <coughs> now wa, now wa, now wa, now wa. when family matters you say what when reverse governor said river state is a christian state some of the religious by gods were fused him. Remember the country hardship still remain the same. People falling below average increase every day. Where is the peace? This is madness. How on earth can this happen? Fulani taking over Quara. So guys, is it that person? What do you want to talk? What do you want to see? Let's know in the comment section.